Hey, what's happening, man? It's your boy, Papa Doug, man. Listen, man, you mean to tell me you don't have a issue with going to church and your, pre your preacher, pastor, whatever, coming, pulling up in a $300,000 car? You ain't got no issues with that. Hmm? I know a lot of people going to say it ain't about the money. It ain't about the money. If it ain't about the money, right, then why are they rich? Why they don't get together and just make one church? Why? Because it'll, it'll divide the pie into too many different slices. I told y'all I'm from a small town. Last I checked, it was years ago, but we had over 45 churches, bro. Again, you're going to say it ain't all about the money. If we took the money that we give every Sunday and put it towards building us as a people and not putting it in somebody's pocket to go buy a $300,000 car, do you know how far we'll be? See, when... when, when how they look at it is this, right? If you let a person do that to you, that's your, that's you. Ignorance is no excuse. You better remember that. If they took the money we gave every Sunday, built real schools, taught our children real things, because we're at an age now where all those BS curriculums that we've been taught, it don't work and never will work. You got to be this, you got to be the I'm, I'm trying to use my work here, but boy, boy, you got to be the, the, you got to be dumbfounded to believe that the very people that's trying to run your life, govern your life, keep you dumb. You got to be crazy to think that these people are going to give you all the knowledge and all the resources to overthrow them. That don't make no damn sense. This is why we need schools to teach people the right way because like i said we are at an age now we know those curriculums don't work we know it we know why they was put in place this is why the people that's running the world are continuing to run the world we need our own schools we've been living long enough to know what work and don't work we've been living long enough to teach our children how to conduct themselves in a relationship how to listen come up with a solution agree on that solution and move to the next problem instead of just blah, 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 blah. We could teach our women, young women, how to be women and not let them teach them. Because I tell y'all all the time, when you see women on TV disagreeing with each other, cussing each other out, sleeping with each other, man, throwing water on each other, fighting, that represents every black woman in America. And if you think it don't, then you miss the bus. You think they created TV, radio? You think they got these bogus ass artists that they signed to get on radio and to talk about everything that exploits us? But yet somehow we feel as though we're gonna be okay in this society. That don't make no damn sense. I told y'all these people would never ever fund a artist Male or female that's going to get on a record and uplift their people. You think they're going to put money behind that? You got the, you missed the bus. You miss, think about what I'm saying. Why you think Megan the Stag and they talking about well, everything is just sex appeal? All our women think is just not, nice looking. Not all women. Not trying to be disrespectful, but bear with me, bro. A good amount of our women, well over half, feel as though it's about looks. Turn on social media. Turn on TV. Everybody's all about the booty. All their pictures showing butt shots. Why? Because the very people that's, that's that's running the world are telling you, if you ain't got a butt or if you ain't got this and you ain't got that, ain't nobody going to want you. Ain't nobody going to like you. Even women are doing this and don't know why they're doing it. So you may say what you say about what I'm saying, but best believe something broke. You could talk your ass off. Something is broke. Everything we've been doing up to this day doesn't work, so something is broke. You must identify that first. And a lot of times, like I tell y'all, the reason why people think what they think is because other people are governing your thoughts. 
And a lot of people don't think the things they see on TV and social media and all this, they don't think it affect them. You, you crazy if you think they don't affect you. Because it may not affect you directly. It can affect the people around you. Energy doesn't go anywhere. It just transfers. If your homegirls is, is this type of way when it comes to women, if they got this type of uh, outlook on men or whatever, it's going to rub off nine times out of ten. Same thing with men. Women say all the time, oh, y'all y'all entertain that. That's why they want the big butts. Y'all entertain that. A lot of men entertain don't know why. Y'all got to understand psychology, bro. You have to understand psychology, bro. At the end of the day, man, I just want y'all to understand from a simplistic standpoint. Very simple. It is very simple. The very people that want to see you suppressed, that wants to govern you, they want you just to be a, a, a complete idiot. They just want you to obey. Don't ask questions. Don't think. They want to think for us. The very people that are putting all these booby traps in place to keep us where we're at. Because no one asks the why. If you're not a why person, then you're going to always comply with what they say. Like, we, like really, though. Think about what I'm saying, bro. This had nothing to do with color, bro. You got people getting on every day going to the DMV. Because they say go to the DMV. Do you think God really wanted us to go to the DMV? <laughs> That's what I say, boy. Hey, boy. You got to be. Let me get back to what I was saying. The reason why nothing's going to change because the very people that are running the world that want to see you as an idiot, as a, 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 a slave, a, a, they want to see you just doing everything they say do. The very people that are running the show are controlling us in so many ways that a lot of us don't even understand or can even fathom how they're controlling us. Socially, through food, symbolism, fashion. You don't think fashion affects us? You just I did a video on, on LeBron James, where LeBron James was just wearing. It affects us from fashion. Because you might be like 25, 30, you might be like, oh, whatever. But bro, what if you was 10 years old seeing your favorite basketball player, football player, wearing stuff like that, bro? Do, do you know that'll do to you as an undeveloped mind? And the crazy part is this, us, especially blacks, we let other people raise our children. We let other people raise us. We let other people tell us what we can and can't eat, what is healthy, what ain't healthy. People are so, you got to understand, they don't want you to know natural remedies. Why? So they want, they want you to run to them. They want you to go to their stores and buy they. How can you go buy a supplement versus eating a real herb? that they extract from that herb and made the supplement. So you'll take a substitute teacher over the real teacher. <laughs> but when you condition a person through cognitive dissonance, through repetition, you condition a person to accept the things that they give you. People think because water is clear, that's the most you know, uh, uh, purified or that's the most uh, healthiest water. That's the opposite, total opposite. Everything that God made, made for a reason. When water travel through, hitting the limestones and the rocks and traveling downstream, it is cleansing itself. There's no better cleanser than nature itself. Man screws and screwed up everything. These people consume everything. Now they're trying to move to other planets. They consume so much stuff on planet Earth till they made a fake reality, which is called uh, the metaverse. They've been creating a fake world and people bought into it. You got people that made a lot of money because they were smart. See, this is chess, not checkers. So I'm not telling you just because all this stuff is screwed up. Don't be smart. Move in on them. Get your chips up so you can take that money and use it against them. Smart for y'all. So don't get it twisted by what I'm saying. But look at the overall view. They don't consume the world so much till they created a fake world. The metaverse. Oh, I say... If you're listening to the TV, you're being coerced. When I say TV, I'm talking about world news. These people ain't created no... I've done videos on this stuff, bro. Well, all the anchors around the world are saying the same thing. They read from the same teleprompter. They read from the same script. They telling the world the same thing. I told y'all before, they had it where they rung the bell. 
made the whole town come to the square. That's some Masonic stuff. So when they ring the bell, that means, okay, the government or somebody has a letterhead that they want the whole town to hear. So everybody come out their houses and come out the bars and they come to the town. They come to the square. And that person will read off what this letter is. That's how they got information out to the people. Now, fast forward, they came out with radio. Now, you see how this go? I told y'all, business is your father, religion is your mother. Why? Because every freaking thing they do is surrounded by business. Why? Because business is the governing vehicle to control people. Finances is the head of the snake. Listen, fast forward, they came out with radio. Now they could just get on the radio and broadcast and people kept pick up on it. Fast forward, they came out with television. Tell a vision. I'm sure y'all done heard that before. They're gonna tell you a vision. Fast forward, they came out with social media. All these things that we think are evolving, <laughs> they're just finding ways to con to 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 put their message out there, get us to accept things that really harms us. So at some point, we pay a, we pay a, a a role in our own demise and not even know it. But when you got uneducated people, like I tell y'all, never educate the people you want to dominate. <laughs> Never educate the people you want to dominate. You think if you're trying to win some, and you you gonna you gonna show them like you might show them the rules of the game, but you you gonna show them everything. You're not. This is a this is an uneven playing field from the day you was born. Okay. And that's why I can't get on my social medias and talk about none other than what I talk about because. I have fun. I do what I do that, that's fun for me. And I I would say y'all do the same, whatever that may be. I don't, I don't judge nobody. Whatever that is, man, have your fun. This is your time on earth. But I just know and I understand that there's a group of people that want us all to comply while they sit back and live heaven on earth. And I don't care what color you are. Like, by now, if you stuck on the color thing, bro, you missed the bus. Yeah, there's a difference when it comes to black folk, white folk, this folk, that folk. Genetically, that's something we can't change. But outside of that, as a as people, we got the same common enemy. And if you feel as though we don't, that means you're really trying to hide behind the fact that you this color or you that color or whatever. And you don't see what everybody, what a fucking three-year-old can see. We're all being victimized. But if you want to sit and hide behind that, that's just because by nature you just you you just that type of person. Okay? You got some people that really root for that. Because they that type of person. But anyway, man. Hopefully I touched on some things that we all can learn from. Put your comments on the bottom of this, man. Say what you gotta say. You know, I love, I read the comments. And this is a community for us all to speak out, man, and talk about some things and understand, man, we all have one common enemy, but we got to stop this. We got to stop this because some of this stuff is just too, it's too blatant, bro, right in front of our faces, bro. And we get up every day and act like we don't see it. Man, that shit got to stop, homie. It got to stop, bro. We can't have no churches where they got all this money when, 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 when what we get our money for what? Bro, we need to build schools. We need to teach our children because if we don't, we're going to allow these same people to control us. Same people that put their pants on the same way we do. What is it so so? What is it so special about them that ain't about us? I don't get it. I do not get it. I know there's a fear factor in a lot of this. I know people are scared of everything. But common sense is a mother. But things ain't just so common to a lot of people. We have to wake up out this matrix. Okay? Wake up out this matrix. Wake up out this matrix. All right? It's your boy, Papa Duck. Man, y'all follow me on all platforms. Also, y'all already know Ubuntu. That's the... That's my new clothing line, man. Make sure y'all go to uh, UbuntuApparel.com. And like I say, this is fashion with a purpose. And Ubuntu just stands for I am because we are. Okay? That goes for you, too. We all need each other. We all are here collectively. And Ubuntu is a, is a lifestyle. It's not just a word. Please look it up. 
and you'll see for yourself. So, man, we're moving with purpose, man. And um, y'all know I love y'all, man. So please share this video. Put your comments on him, man. If I offended anybody, I do apologize, man to man, uh, whatever the case may be, you know. But truth got to be told, and the truth does hurt, all right? So with that being said, like I tell you all the time, in order for you to be found, you must first be lost. I'm going to holler at y'all on the next video. Peace.